Hey, Lyle, are you going to do one of those things wait, wait, where wait, you wait, talk wait, about E3? What is this? Evolution is a terrifying thing, but I wouldn't know because I've evolved past the need for fear. I have opened my third eye, and before me I witness the third E, a beast that feeds upon excited shrieks and broken promises. I am Lyle Rath, and this would be pregame Discharge, the only video game show that stands between me and vengeance. But not today, because you already know what's going down. Today, I get to be kind of a dick, for there is but one slippery little law that remains in this land. Sing along if you know the words. No game, no hype, those is the rules. Let's fucking do this! Yeah! Ah, making characters jump out of the TV, one after my own heart. Now don't fuck it up by announcing a battle royale. Reimagined for Battlefield. Is the whole thing gonna be like this? To be fair, Call of Duty for narcoleptics has never really gripped me. But I guess the staple of those games is already finding one player every 87 minutes and then dying from a single bullet to the foot, so making the player exit back to the main menu every time it happens might just be the excitement that the franchise needs. I'll give it a pass and a hard pass. Sports! Here, we brought a really big cup for everybody to drink out of. Okay, I know you're super hesitant to get back in the shower with this rectal expulsion, but don't worry. They're gonna reel back in the Star Wars Wars fans with all their favorite things. The Ewoks, the prequels, and the iconic Han Solo, played of course by Alden Ehrenreich. I... this... Am I an angry person? Ford! This looks really cool, but these kinds of games, I keep wanting to like them and then they let me down. Rolling the dice on an artsy game at this point is a lot like sticking something up your butt. You just want to feel something, but a lot of the time you just can't get into it. A Command and Conquer game for the iPhone crowd. Why? And here we are, EA's biggest announcement of the show, that they're wee 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 sawy, and they promise they won't do it again. Look, Anthem might actually turn out to be good now, but the only reason that's a thing is because EA got in all that fucking trouble. 2017 EA would have had this be a slow grind, microtransaction extorting loot box hell, and you know it. But now that they've been getting yelled at by brave and attractive people on the internet, not gonna name names, oh, and also the Belgian government, and Anthem might actually be dragged, kicking and screaming, to critical and financial success with minimal PR issues, so... You know, you're welcome. Also, hey, fucking jetpacks, that's cool. The artist formerly known as Box and its mascot, Phil Spencer. No game, no hype, those is the rules, but don't think I don't appreciate the frantic backpedaling. I hope this game paid their art team well, cause fuck, look at that. Dark Souls with big jumps and a grappling hook? Sure, sign me up. I have a special kinship with these games in that we're both obnoxiously hard and usually you don't finish. We'll get back to you, you conference hopping son of a bitch. In this game, the little boy uses his imagination to segue into talking about something else. Okay, bear with me here. Picture a scenario. It's the end of 2018. Wait, when does this game come out? Okay, it's the end of 2019, apparently. All the gaming websites and the YouTubers and the people you follow on Twitter are making their top games of the year list. Now imagine that, realistically. You're looking at this. Do you think Crackdown 3 is gonna come up at all? Like, it might be fun, I don't know, but what is this game aspiring to be? This is another game that I think looks pretty mediocre, but at least for Metro, I know a few people that go, oh, I really like those games. With Crackdown, nobody is asking for- I'm moving backwards at this point. All right, this is a port, this is DLC, this is a bit of a raw subject. I'd like to just move on from this one, please. CARS! But your car's friends and the weather changes and, and it's, it's an MMO or something and nobody crashes the cars. Why does nobody crash the cars? It's a video game, this is wrong. Am I sick for thinking that they should be crashing the fu- the mm. Look out! Ow. <laughs> yeah, okay, dude. Your game is out. Who are you fooling with this? You don't get to pretend that your game is exciting and then reveal the existence of snow like it's a big deal. Fuck you! This is a 10-year-old game at this point, but I actually would recommend it. Listen to this very real in-game chat. Duke, Kit, did you guys hear that? Yeah. Closer this time. Wow. Okay. Definitely from the capital. Flare is up. Control point is ours. Nice. You guys wanna check out the plane? In case you're unclear on what the fuck you're listening to, these aren't supposed to be characters in the game. They're allegedly real people like you and your friends playing it and just talking to each other like this. Can we stop doing this forever, please? Lord Croft whoopsies the whole dang old apocalypse. What, what, a, what a silly lady. No game, no hype, those is the rules, but please let this be sk- Damn it! Skate 3 was a fucking masterpiece of jank and its legacy will live for generations and generations to come.
Did everyone just kind of forget that we hated playing as Nero? That was the whole reason the reboot happened in the first place. No? Anyone? Whatever. Woo! Nero's back! Everyone's favorite. What is this? Do you think that I'm some sort of a baby? Oh shit, it looks like Link to the Past. Fuck, I'm gonna buy it. Fuck! Fuck! Bill Nairuto, the science Gairuto, gets to do a fight with Goku and Mr. Long. A clash forever in the making. I'd say no game, no hype. Those are the rules, but if you can find game of it. Oh. Ooh. It's looking pretty rough. After years of tracing the alphabet with my tongue, I've finally found the Heraclitus. I thought it to be only a myth. Usually you can kill my interest in something immediately by putting zombies in it. But this looks like it's a lot more about doing sick jumps and human interactions. By interactions, I mean murder. Uh, I'm gonna give this a no game, no hype. Those are the rules. Oh, it's a new Gears of War game. <laughs> you actual literal assholes. The level of contempt is delicious. I, I can't. Can't even be mad. Oh, okay, it's a real one this time. Uh, I mean, the gameplay actually looks pretty decent, but man, they really have fucking lost the plot with this, haven't they? It seems like the level of writing you'd get from a machinima made by 18 year olds in like 2009. Oh, fuck. No game, no hype. Those is the rules. Psst, hey, between you and me, I'm kind of hyped because I like these guys. <laughs> oh, damn it, they heard. Fuck. Oh, no, no. Anything but. JAIL FOR VIDEO GAMES! Ah, Bethesda, my arch nemesis and ex-lover. You know, we've had our ups and downs, but you made a lot of promises this year. Plus, you brought the Sultan of Parties here for peace negotiations, so I'm willing to give this a shot. That said, strap yourself in, Caramel Colon, because I'm about to knock all this out in one go. Cards, add-on, port of a mobile game, add-on, four no game, no hypes, those is the rules, Quake looks fine, and I don't think anybody really believes that a mobile version of Elder Scrolls is really gonna function. All right, let's address the big nuclear elephant in the room and possibly get my whole damn self crucified. This fallout thing really looks like it could go either way. Look, exploring the wasteland with friends seems like a fucking dream come true, and there is a goddamn Mothman. I like all that. My first asshole puckering moment was when I heard, You must rebuild. I don't like that fucking word. And based on what was said or not said, it seems like the biggest thing they took a machete to to make room for the multiplayer stuff is the story. You're gonna make your own story. You're gonna decide who are the heroes and the villains. Sounds like a fancy marketing dance for there isn't any. And you know what? I'll say it. I don't really think that Fallout plays well enough to the point where I'd go, Oh yeah, I would really like a, a player versus player competitive multiplayer aspect to this. I mean, look at Rage. Rage looks fun as shit. That's the game I want multiplayer in. And Fallout could work for multiplayer, but it seems like they're taken from the pot of like Rust and DayZ rather than something that feels like a multiplayer Fallout experience with like a rich populated world and interesting quests with fun characters and moral quandaries. I'll give it a chance, but I'm lowering my expectations to the point where I'm pretending it's not a Fallout game. Hey, Captain, did you just let the traitors go? Cause you be soft. This is a mutiny, by the way. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is a game. It has assets. It has animations. It has particles. It has, in fact, all the qualities of a thing that exists. Could you clap a little harder? I, I don't think you're giving this enough credit. This is accurate marketing for Trials. Why the hell are there not more pirate games by now? This looks fine, I just don't feel like I'm gonna get what I want out of a competitive multiplayer pirate game. Which is real, actual scurvy that will rend me from this earth. Ah, bringing in the king of the baby toy company for your baby toy game. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually excited for a modern Assassin's Creed. And by that I mean ancient Greece is cool enough to where I am willing to tolerate a modern Assassin's Creed. All right, PC Gaming Show, is there anything worth seeing here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Webster from Drake's Cakes, and he's got a cool competition for you. <clears throat> okay then. So you get to play as the shark. You are the shark. <laughs> <laughs> this is a neat looking cartoony game with a stylistic low frame rate, so it looks like it's rotoscope animation. I'm sure that PC gamers will forgive that, right? I mean, frame rates aren't that big of a deal. Especially not to PC gamers, I assume. Sony. Sony, why do you make me find this fucking logo on Google Images every year? Just. Put it on a screen like everybody else, you piece of shit! Last of Us is a game that I thought really didn't need a sequel, but. <laughs> Ugh! <laughs> 
Yeah, all right, cool. This is probably fake gameplay, or at very least, fake-ish. But it's Naughty Dog, so this could just be witchcraft. Am I insinuating Naughty Dog is staffed entirely by witches from the future? Yeah, yeah, exact- that is, that is exactly what I'm- Maybe this is a weird thing to say, but I've just now realized that I've never played an open-world samurai game. I'm sitting here like, I have to have played something like that before, and my brain is like, have you? It sounds right, but I'm drawing a blank, so, uh, cool? There aren't enough games that let you pelt fellers with objects. This game should be called pelt a feller. Feel free to get in contact with my agent. No game, no hype, those is the rules, unless this plays like the original Resident Evil 2, in which case... It probably shouldn't. And the unversed collected enough screams and sadness from those children. <laughs> I've seen that clip before. I genuinely waited until this exact moment to watch it again, and it was just as good as I remember. I'm sure we're all sold on this fucking beautiful mess, but can we not pretend that this gameplay showed anything exciting? You're embarrassing me in front of my cool friends. I don't know why you'd take Spider-Man indoors and showcase that. You showed better gameplay of this in the post-show. What is- Wait, this is over? Nintendo lovin' by the pale moonlight. Pour one out for all the forgotten games that were announced before Smash. This robot one looks all right. What a great way to end off E3. The new Smash, it's got everything in it. Snake is back, so I can finally stop thinking the worst one is the best one. My only concern is that I've always considered Zelda to be an attractive older woman, and now she's younger than me. Is- is this death? Is this the catalyst to my end? Cause if so, this is gonna be the fucking game of the year. I'm Lyle Rath, and this has been a very special episode of Pre-Game Discharge. Come back next time, or come here back in time. It makes no difference to video games, they'll happen anyway.